The Intelligence Authorization Act of 2022 has recently been introduced to Congress, and it includes a section that's dedicated to the support and oversight of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, which also discusses the availability of data on UAP, and states that the Director of National Intelligence, along with the Secretary of Defense, shall require each element of the intelligence community, as well as the DOD, to make sure any related data is immediately available to the UAP Task Force, as well as the National Air and Space Intelligence Center, which is based out of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and who provides the Air Force with authoritative engineering level scientific and technical intelligence on airspace and missile threats. The Intelligence Act would also require quarterly reports to be delivered to Congress on the findings of the UAP Task Force the contents of which would include all reported UAP-related events that occurred in the previous 90 days, as well as all reported UAP events that occurred outside of that 90-day window, but that were not included in a previous report, which to me sounds like they're leaving the door open to investigate historical accounts. But unfortunately, each report shall be committed in classified form, which is obviously a big bummer. <laughs>